How to create squeeze pages on KV Core to help you turn prospects into leads. My name is Karamoko from Karamoko Homes and that is what we'll be talking about today. As usual, I'll be going step by step as detailed as possible to help you understand and get you going and, you know, become a superstar real estate agent on KV Core. So what are squeeze pages? Squeeze pages are basically a website or a page on your website that people can go to via various different methods. It could be through a QR code that they scan and land on your page. It could be through, you know, a link you post on your bio on Instagram, maybe on Facebook, but squeeze pages always have a goal. You are providing some value in exchange for a piece of information. So what kind of squeeze pages can you have? You can have a squeeze page that, you know, is just you showcasing a property. So maybe you're having an open house and you want to provide people a link to see more details about the property. But before they do so, upon clicking on the link, they would need to provide their email or phone number maybe. Or maybe you can create a squeeze page for them to click on and receive a market report for a specific city. But of course, in exchange, you would need an email and a phone number. And uh, you can have these on flyers, business cards, um, you know, QR codes, signs all over the place. They're amazing. and. Uh, you need to know this if you want to take your online marketing to the next level. And the great thing is if you have KV Core, this is absolutely free and you can do as many of them as possible. Follow along with me. We're going to hop onto KV Core. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, you can call, text, email me, uh, book a free one on one consultation with me. All of my contact details are in the description of this video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like also. All right, let's get it. So when we hop onto KV Core, as usual, you're going to see your dashboard first. And the way we create squeeze pages is through the lead engine tab on your KV Core page, okay? If you don't see this section on the left-hand side, it's probably because it's collapsed. All you wanna do is click on the three bars at the top left right here and then you will be able to see the lead engine section. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Once it opens up, we're gonna scroll down just a tiny bit and you should notice where it says IDX squeeze page like so on my screen. So all we'll need to do is click on the you know blank field, select your domain, AKA your KV Core website, and then click on the start building button. Okay, once you do that, you'll be taken to this page. It's gonna have a bunch of different things, but do not worry, don't panic. I'll walk you through every single page or you know everything you see on here so that you, will work, you are well equipped to create as many squeeze pages as you want and um, you know generate leads with confidence using KV Core. So you have different types of squeeze pages. There are multi-property squeeze pages, single property ones, seller squeeze, and market reports. So we're actually gonna get started with the market report one. It's the easier one to understand and you know, most likely the one you'll be using the most. So we'll get started there. So by, I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna take me to that tab. So all you need to do right here is provide KV Core with a city, county, zip code, or neighborhood, or an area. And it's going to generate a link for you, uh, which will take people to the market report for said location. So for instance, let's say I wanted to create a market report for the city of Los Angeles. So all I would need to do is under the area section right here, I'm gonna type in Los Angeles. It's gonna load up, think for a little bit and give me a drop down with all of the areas uh, that Los Angeles um, has. So I have the LA area, I have the Southwest LA area, neighborhood, city, county. So you choose uh, what area you're looking for. So I'm just gonna work with the city right now. So I'll click on the city of Los Angeles. It's gonna highlight it as such. And then you have different, you have two more options you can click on down here. You can put source and you can also add a hashtag. So the source basically just tells you where this contact came from. And this is something you, this is something that's optional, but if you do want to fill this out, you need to be mindful of where you paste this link. So if I was to put maybe uh, Google, actually let's do Instagram. So this would tell me anyone that clicks on this link and signs up, provides their phone number and, and email, KV Core will immediately assume they were generated by Instagram. So if you plan on posting 
this link on different platforms, it would be a good idea to generate different links in which you, you know, have different sources. So the way that would work is uh, maybe I want to post this squeeze page to a market report of LA on my Instagram, my Facebook, and my LinkedIn. What I would do is I would set it up as such. I will maybe start with the Instagram one. So maybe I have LA in there, Instagram as a source, and then click generate link. And when I do that, you'll notice on the right hand side here, these two fields will populate with two different links. Both of these do the same exact thing. It's just one link is shorter and one's longer. I would always prefer to use the top one because it goes directly to your EXP website. But if you find yourself in a situation where you need to have a very short link, then maybe I would revert to the shorter version. But if not, I would always prioritize the top one if it's not um, a biggie. Okay, so here this link will have this source attached to it or coded within it. So anyone that clicks on this link and signs up on your website will have their source as Instagram. Now that you have posted on Instagram, we're taking care of the Instagram side of things. Let's say you also wanted to post this on your Facebook. Now, yes, you could paste the same link onto your Facebook as a post to have people, you know, visit your, your squeeze page, but KV Core is still gonna think their source is Instagram. So the best route to go to would be to actually change the source and then just type in FB for Facebook or maybe Facebook um, altogether. It, it, it really doesn't matter. And then just generate another link. And now you can copy this new link and now post that to Facebook. So both parties will still see the same thing, but upon filling out the information, KV Core will know who came from Facebook and who came from Instagram. And that's an added bonus for you too. Uh, because now you'll be able to track where you're getting the most engagement and maybe even double down in that area. But if you don't care, obviously you don't have to fill out the source. You could just generate a link without a source and just paste the link everywhere. Okay. So this would only matter if you really want to know where, uh, on which platform people are clicking on the most and, and where you're getting the most engagement from. Okay. And then you have the hashtag field. So hashtags are extremely powerful. Again, this is a, an optional field. You do not have to put anything on there, but basically what this would do is if you're targeting a specific demographic maybe or a specific group of people with um, you know, this post through which you're gonna share this market report squeeze page, maybe you want them to have a hashtag or you know, some type of tag that attaches to them so that you can later on go back and, and um, you know, filter through all those people then you can put in a hashtag here. If you don't know what hashtags are, I will leave a video in the description so that you can watch. I highly, highly recommend it. They're extremely powerful. And um, I, I really wanna focus on squeeze pages in this video. So if you don't know what they are at all, I encourage you to watch that first and then maybe come back to this one. But in a nutshell, it's just a way for you to categorize all the leads in your database. You can have hashtags for first time home buyers, uh, for you know sellers for contingency buyers for um, you know veterans uh, nurses etc etc okay it's just a fancy way for you to categorize through all your leads okay so you can also populate that in here and then uh, let's say we wanted to do friends let's say I wanted to paste this link and have all my friends you know target all my friends uh, to actually click on it I'll do friends and family so now I could click generate link again. And now this link will be programmed to have this hashtag added to anyone that clicks on it and signs up. Okay. You don't have to do one or the other, by the way, you can have a source and a hashtag. Okay. So a great use case scenario, just to kind of put it all into perspective. Let's say my objective was to target sellers in a specific neighborhood. Let's say that the city of, um, Torrance in California. Let's say I'm making a post on Instagram uh, targeting sellers in the city of Torrance uh, who might be interested in the market report of their area. So on the Instagram post, it could be a video of me saying, hey, I'm a real estate agent in, I'm your local real estate agent. And uh, you know, the market has been such and such. Go ahead and click on the link on my bio to get a free market report of 
uh, your area okay so now we have a clear message and we have a clear audience that we're targeting and the way we will be able to you know save all of those leads will obtain as a result and be able to you know tell where they came from and what kind of lead they are is going to be through the source that'll tell us where they came from so it could be instagram in this case so i'll type that in here and then maybe i'm targeting sellers so i could do sellers under the hashtag and maybe dash torrents okay because you could be working with multiple different sellers in different areas so this hashtag will help tell me hey this person came from instagram and hey this person is a seller in torrents okay and then i could click generate link and there you go now i'll have a link for that actually this is the city of los angeles so let me take this off and let's put torrents instead okay there you go so torrents and i'll click on the drop down there we go so now that we have torrents as the area instagram as a source because that's where I would intend on posting this and then a hashtag to help me categorize that lead i can click generate link once i get the success message at the top left i'm good to copy this link post it on social media put it on a flyer through a qr code uh, put it on my website uh, put it on um, a real estate sign um, you know share it via an email campaign or newsletter or blog it, there's so much you can do with squeeze pages and it's so easy to create just like I did so okay so that is one version of a squeeze page so we're gonna do another one so let's do the seller squeeze this time okay this one is even easier so then we have seller squeeze so the seller squeeze squeeze page is very similar to the market report one but now this will give more, you know, market trends tailored towards sellers. OK, like it says right here, get seller leads by offering an instant market report. So in this one, all you would need to do is just like the market report, uh, create a source of basically where you're intent on posting this. So you can refer to that, you know, later and see where leads came from a hashtag and also a location. So let's put in, you know, 90504 as an example here. And um, I'm going to leave the source and the hashtag blank because we already know what that does. And you can just click generate link and then copy this link. And there you have it. Now you all have another link that's tailored towards sellers uh, for an instant market report, more so detailed and tailored towards their specific needs. OK, so the market report is going to be a little broad buyers and sellers. But the seller squeeze is designed for property sellers okay so depending on who you're trying to market to you might want to choose the seller squeeze over the market report or vice versa and i encourage you to paste these links into you know another tab and see where they go just so you get a sense of what the experience the customer or the lead is going to get when they click on it okay and then um yeah you have the single property and the multi-property so all these do, it's just going, so the single property one is going to ask you for a listing ID. What this will do is it'll create a link to a specific listing on the MLS. All you'd have to do is type in the MLS ID into the listings tab. And then yet again, we have the source, the hashtags, and then we have this interesting dropdown right here that says property views allowed before registration. So what this means is when you fill all of this thing out, when you fill out the listing source and hashtag, you can set how many properties people can see after landing on that page before KV Core asks them to put their email and phone number. OK, so by default, it's going to be two. If I was to do one, that means immediately when people get on my website before they can even see that listing, they will be prompted to put their information beforehand but maybe you would want to show them one property and then request them to you know sign up to see more then you can have it too okay so what will happen is they'll click on the link see one property and then if they decide to click on another one they won't be able to see that until they fill out the email and phone number form okay so that is what that does and then you can click generate a link after you've put an mls id in here last but not least we have the multi-property so under the multi-property one you can create a search criteria and that's going to output a result of different properties through which you can have people click on and view 
and depending on how many properties you want them to see just like in the single property tab you can request them to sign up to see more or you know nothing until they sign up okay just to go through this really quickly you can choose a location so let's say we only want to show properties in 90210 okay which is beverly hills for those of you guys who don't know uh, 90210 and uh, maybe we only want to show single family property so i can scroll down here and click on that you can choose a style a price range square footage basically design or you know create this criteria of properties to to showcase and once you have all of that in there just like on the other squeeze pages you can create a source create a hashtag so the facebook cover photo section what this refers to is certain times when you paste a link onto sites like facebook a thumbnail is going to pop up with an image so you can actually control what image pops up uh, through this you know drop down and you have multiple options you can use a low price listings from your agency high price ones or just random listings from your office or you can use a specific photo from a specific listing and when i click on that one you can put the mls id for which you want the photo to be displayed okay but i'm just gonna do um uh, i'm just gonna do high priced right here actually i'm gonna do random okay so it could be whatever and then here we have property views allowed before registration just like we've seen before this is how many properties you'll let people see before they have to sign up okay if you want to immediately grab people's information, I would keep it at immediate. But if you want to, you know, maybe let them see one property and then if they want to see another, then they would have to sign up. So once you have all of that stuff in there, you can click generate link and then there you have it. You can copy this link to your clipboard. You can yet again, put it as a QR code, put it on a flyer, do it as an email drip, a campaign, a newsletter, a blog article and get people to, you know, go to your website and sign So this is squeeze pages in a nutshell. I know I went a little bit fast uh, on these, but I just wanted you to get the idea and you can uh, hop on here and start playing with these. If you need help with setting up squeeze pages or maybe even landing pages, I'll leave a video and I'll leave, <laughs> I'll leave a link to a video I made about landing pages, which is very, very similar to these that you can watch and um, you know upgrade your KV core knowledge. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're getting any value out of these videos. A lot of you guys are watching but are not subscribed. So please do so if you're liking these. And of course, like the video and leave a comment if you have any questions, okay? I do one-on-one -on -one bookings. They're absolutely free. So if you need any personalized, you know, tailored help uh, to you, uh, please book a free one-on-one -on -one session with me. And uh, looking forward to talking to you soon. You enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Thank you.